Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Shopware Multi Window Marketplace. And in today's video tutorial, we'll be showing you how to install the plugin in the first place and how to configure it and the vendor registration at the Shopware storefront. So, before we proceed further, let me give you a small brief about this particular add on. So, making use of this extension would allow you to transform your Shopware web store into a multi vendor marketplace and any customer can become a seller and can start selling out his own products. To create a seller or a vendor profile, the customer has to register himself at the web store as a seller and after that the seller would be able to manage his profile, products and orders. So let's get ahead and let's see how we can install the multi vendor marketplace for the Shopware e-commerce platform and how to configure it and uh, how a vendor would be able to register himself at the storefront. So for that, let me go ahead and let me take you to the admin backend panel first. So here I am at the Shopware backend login. So I'm, I need to log in. So I'll tap the login button and this brings up uh, the dashboard here. And at the top you can find different menu options so for the installation of uh, the multi window marketplace for shopware we need to navigate through configuration and then plugin manager uh, you can also uh, press the ctrl alt and the p key all together to bring up the plugin manager but uh, for the time being what i'll do is i'll just tap on the plugin manager here and this brings up the uh, section uh, that's the plug plugin manager window as you can see here the plugin manager window has popped up and on the left hand side uh, under the account we have the management section so what we need to do is we need to go to the installed sub menu option here so I'll just tap that up and this brings up all the uh, plugins that have been installed for this uh, particular installation uh, of uh, shopware so to add a new plugin we'll just tap on the upload plugin button here on the top as you can see and this brings up the section wherein we need to select the zip file so after you've purchased the multimeter marketplace for shopware you'll get uh, this uh, zip file so you need to set, uh, set it up uh, at your desktop or your laptop and uh, when you need to install that but you need to just uh, select that up so for that we'll tap the select button and this brings up this section wherein I'll be able to uh, select the multi window uh, file. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, select the multi window file and I'll tap the upload button thereafter and this would uh, automatically add the plugin. So we'll just scroll down a bit. So here you can see that the marketplace has been installed and it has three buttons on the right hand side. One is to open it up, other one is to install, uninstall and the third one is to delete the uh, plugin. So what we'll do is we'll be uh, installing the plugin first. So I'll just tap on the install plugin now. And you can see here that the plugin is being now installed. So in a few seconds, the installation would be complete so here you can see the marketplace window is uh, up and we can see that the uh, plugin has been installed and here we have the three uh, different options now one is to activate the other one is to reinstall and the last one is to uninstall so what we'll do is we'll activate the plugin first so we'll tap the activate button and after that we need uh, to uh, clear the cache so we'll tap the yes button for that and after cleaning the cache we can scroll down and here the very first tab that we can see is for the configuration of the multi vendor marketplace for shopware wherein the admin would be able to set up uh, the auto approval of the products the commission type and the commission that would be applicable for all of the sellers within the marketplace so uh, the very first option that the admin needs to configure is seller product approve so if you have selected this as yes at that time whenever a seller adds a product under his own account panel it would uh, directly get live 
or would be available for sale within the Shopware web store. Otherwise, if you have selected this option as a no, then uh, after the seller has uploaded his product, the admin needs to approve that product before the, uh, needs to approve the product before it goes live on the web store. So uh, we'll select this option as a yes for the, for this demonstration. After that, we have the commission type. So here we have a uh, commission type as a fixed and percentage type. So if you have selected this as a fixed uh, commission type, you can set up the amount as well. So for example, we have set the commission as 10. So if a product is of $100 and uh, it gets sold out within the Shopware Multimedia Marketplace, then what will happen is that the 10 uh, amount would be sent out to the admin and the remaining 90 would be sent out to the seller similarly if you have chosen this as a percentage then the number that you enter like 10 in percentage so the admin would get the 10 percent of uh, 100 dollars and the rest of the amount would be sent out to the admin so for the time being what we'll be doing is we'll be setting this as a fixed commission type and we'll set the commission amount as 10 and we'll tap the save button so you can see that the marketplace settings have been saved so we'll just close it down now so after we have uh, installed the the uh, plugin we have activated it and we have configured the three basic settings there now after that we need to again go to the configuration and then the theme manager so here what we'll do is we'll tap on the responsive shopware and on the right hand side we'll select the theme and then we'll have to compile the theme so uh, whenever we have made changes to our theme or, or its configuration the theme should be uh, compiled so i'll tap on the start process button and uh, it would uh, start what we say as uh, it will start compiling the theme so the com theme as compiling is done so we'll close it down now let me show you uh, after the installation of the uh, multimedia marketplace plugin for shopware uh, what different options do we get at the shopware web uh, store front end for that let me take you to the front end now so here i'm at the web store front end right right now on the top right hand side you can see the service and help uh, link below the, that we have the my account option within the uh, user would be able to log in and register about that apart from that we have a wishlist option here so now let me refresh the page once and you'll see a marketplace uh, menu option coming up just uh, next to the service here the marketplace so if I tap on that it brings the login section so uh, this helps you know that the marketplace is now installed so uh, that was much about the installation configuration of the uh, multi-window marketplace for shopware and now let me show you how a window would be able to how a customer would be able to uh, register himself as a seller so for that what i'll be doing is i'll be uh, navigating to my account and i'll open the register link uh, in another window and this breaks up the section uh, where we have uh, two different uh, sections one is for the already registered ones they can type in their username and password to log in and the other one is uh, uh, for the new customers so basically if you if a user wants to become a seller he needs to select this very first option that is uh, want to become a seller as a yes and uh, then he can select uh, basically what he is like is it a company or a private client so i can set it as a private client for the time being we'll select the uh, title then we'll be entering the first name and the last name of the customer we can set up the email address and the password and after entering this information uh, we need to enter the address as well so I've entered the address of Germany here I'll select the company as Germany and uh, if uh, your delivery address differs from your billing address then you need to 
select this uh, option here and then you can set up your uh, uh, alternate delivery address as well for the time being i'll unmark this option here and uh, here we have the privacy policy we can go through that as well and let me tap the further button and this would start registering and uh, creating a seller account so here you can see that the account has been created for the Ruth Montoya and uh, on the top end you can see hi Ruth and tapping here uh, this button here brings up the options for the marketplace for this particular seller like you can see the profile seller profile products and product and seller orders so uh, that was how uh, a vendor would be able to easily register himself uh, within the multi vendor marketplace for the shop fair and uh, that was much for this uh, particular uh, video tutorial and uh, and i hope that it helped you out so uh, now you'll be able to install the extension very easily you can configure it and the users would be able to register themselves as seller within your multi vendor marketplace for software so uh, thanks for watching this video and i uh, hope that it helped you out in the coming videos we will be showing you how a vendor would be able to configure his account options and if you have any questions or queries regarding this particular extension then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead